Guys, this is a first for my channel and I'm super stoked that in today's episode, I'm reviewing another YouTuber's handmade straps. And no, I'm not talking about Teddy Baldassar or Bark and Jack. These are chase straps. Let's get into it. Hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. I don't want to waste any time. These straps were sent in to me by my good friend and fellow watch reviewer Chase from the All Things Random channel. Links to his channel as well as his website for these handmade straps will be down below. And also he hooked me up with a coupon code SCHWARTZFORCE15 which you can use to save 15% off of your purchase so don't miss out on that. Again, links will be down below. Now you guys know I'm always honest in my reviews for you and when I get something from a personal friend I have to be even more objective. So Chase knows to expect my honest feedback on these straps. I have two leather straps here and one NATO to look at. But before we dig into that real quick, hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? Boom, it's a gift for my brother-in-law's son. He recently got into watches and I'd shown him a list of different watches that I had kind of had an eye on. It was like, do any of these pique your interest? And he chose the GMT Pepsi Rolex Homage, of course, by Hollins. I cannot wait to give this a little bit of wrist time. I'll do a full review on it, and then I'll gift it to him, of course. So that's what I got on the wrist today. Let's go ahead and dive into these straps. So first is this coffee brown vintage leather strap. Chase sources his single layer Italian cowhide leather and makes these straps by hand. To get handmade and hand-stitched leather at this price is really impressive. And I don't know if he'll keep them priced this low in the long term because time is not cheap. A couple of things I noticed right away is how smooth this leather is on the front and has a natural textured feeling on the back. Being a single piece of leather that is about 2.7 millimeters thick, it gives the strap a nice rugged vibe to it. I wanna note also that since it's not two pieces of leather sandwiched together, there is not stitching along the sides of the strap. So if you like a more minimal look, this one will give you that. I do think it would be cool to see another version with contrast stitching along the sides as well for those who prefer that look too. The next thing I notice is this rich espresso ombre color effect, going from almost black in color along the edge to a warmer brown in the center. It allows you to catch the grain pattern more in the middle when light reflects on the leather. And the leather has a good middle ground in terms of matte versus gloss finish. It's also in the mid range in terms of its flexibility. So it's not too stiff and it's not too soft. And I'll have to update you on how this breaks in over time as well. The next thing I notice is the natural colored contrast stitch at the ends of the strap, double wrapped for extra peace of mind when it comes to how rugged the strap is. And this particular combo reminds me of the leather you'd see on a cowboy saddle. And the stitch is reminiscent of the rope that they'd use to lasso some steers. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but that's just kind of what I get when I look at this strap. I get that vibe. Now, other details are the embossed branding on the inside and measurements showing this strap has a lug width of 20 millimeters tapering down to 18 millimeters. It has one fixed leather keeper and one free floating keeper. There's a brushed stainless steel tang buckle that can be swapped out for one in high polish or other metal, such as a bronze color or gold color. And lastly, it has quick release spring bars, which we would expect to find at this price range. It will be interesting to see how the strap patinas over time with more wear, but right out of the package, I'm really pleased with what I'm seeing. Now my recommendations to Chase, they're relatively minor, but I think it would be cool to see stitching color options and buckle finish options, such as black or dark brown stitch color and high polished stainless steel tang buckle to match with different watches. Moving to this elephant gray vintage leather option, I think this is my favorite of the three that I have here to review. Immediately, I noticed that grain pattern, almost like a weathered piece of wood. It's a very striking pattern. And also made from a single piece of Italian cowhide, the measurements and specs are identical to the previous strap. When I rub my finger over the front of the strap, I can actually feel the texture of the grain. And I love how the colors ebb and flow throughout from dark black to a light washed gray. I definitely get rugged vibes again with these straps. The name elephant combined with the zebra striping pattern and sand colored stitching even has me feeling like being on some safari in distant lands. <laughs> I'm getting these different impressions from these straps, but I think it's awesome. Again, the middle ground blend between matte and gloss suits the strap well, and I'm anxious to see how this strap breaks in over time too. I think having this stain effect in other colors would be really cool to see. Maybe a deep dark green or navy blue. 
And also, black and gray stitching options would be something to consider, and of course, a high polish buckle option is worth mentioning again. So let's go ahead and take a look at this NATO strap. First thing you'll notice, I'm sure, as I did, is this herringbone pattern on the strap. The threading color gives a really cool sheen to the strap without being flashy. The edges are smooth, and the strap has a higher quality feel in comparison to cheaper NATO straps that are out there. The strap measures in at 1.5 millimeters thick, and I like that because while a thicker strap feels better, there are times when it can be too thick, and then the strap doesn't slide between the spring bars or it makes the watch wear bulky on the wrist, and this strap does not do that. It measures in with a lug width of 20 millimeters and it's 270 millimeters long, or about 10 and 3 quarters inches in length. Plenty of keeper holes for most wrist sizes out there, and I actually think the brushed finish pairs perfectly on the strap, but depending on the watch, high polish may be better suited. I like that the branding on the Tang buckle is simple and clean, it's modern, and I dig that. You can also get this strap in blue, black, and the classic Bond NATO color combo. Here's how I've paired it up with a few of my watches. So what do I think? Well, in all honesty, I think you should get these while you can at this price because I know there's a lot of brands selling mass-produced straps for the same price, and here you can get a handmade, hand-stitched option that supports a fellow watch enthusiast and content creator, and I love that there's a personal connection to Chase through these straps, and I'm grateful to check these out and to share them with you here today. So don't forget about my coupon code SchwartzForce15 chasestraps.com, check them out, send some love to Chase, and let him know the Schwartz Force sent you. Chase, I just wanna say best of luck with this new part of your journey, and I wish you much success. And a huge thanks to all of you who support this channel. I can't wait to see you all at the next one, so until then, may the Schwartz be with you. Take care.